Hello everybody and welcome to this mini hub. Today we're going to be looking at a passage in the Gospel of Matthew. So in your Bibles turn to Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 33. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night he was there alone. And the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves, because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Just to set the scene, The disciples have distributed food to 5,000 plus people and now they're told to get into the boat and meet Jesus at the other side of the lake whilst he dismisses the crowd. They are going to be exhausted. And what's more is that the water isn't calm. In fact, the boat has been buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. So you can imagine they are just wrecked at this point. And then they see this figure coming towards them, walking on the water. And now they're not just tired, they are terrified. What is going on? Have you ever been consumed by worries, fears and anxieties? I don't know about you, but I feel like one of the least helpful approaches is when someone says to you, look, don't even worry about it. Like, chill out. And you've just been so vulnerable and open and you've told them everything. And they've kind of just been insensitive and dismissed everything. And you feel unheard. And Jesus does this. He sees their fear and he says, don't be afraid. But unlike an annoying counsellor, Jesus has the perfect reasoning for why they shouldn't be afraid. He justifies it by saying, it is I. He's saying, I'm here. I am present with you. Why should you need to fear? Why should you worry? It is his presence that is greater than all all our fears and all our worries and because he is with us we do not have to be afraid and it's the immediacy of Jesus he says to them immediately that they should take courage because he's there and that they shouldn't be afraid and so Peter says Lord if it's you tell me to come to you on the water now, Peter's quite a cocky disciple. He's um, he's an all or nothing kind of guy. We see this later on in the Gospels when he takes off somebody's ear. <laughs> and also there's a point where uh, Jesus is washing his disciples' feet. And Peter's like, no, nope, not my feet, Lord. <laughs> just, just no. And then Jesus says, you know, unless you're washed by me, you can't be a part of me. And then Peter's like, wait wash wash everything wash my whole body lord um yeah he's he's quite a dramatic disciple and here again he's been a bit dramatic he's like well lord if it's actually you you know uh 
I'll, uh, you know, tell me to come to you and I'll, I'll walk on the water too. And, um, and Jesus is like, okay, come on then. Peter gets out of the boat and walks on the water towards Jesus. And we see his obedience there. He's getting out of the conventional safety net and stepping out onto the water. And bear in mind, the water isn't still at this point. There is a current, there are waves. And he's doing okay. He's walking on the water, he's focusing on Jesus and he's okay. But then, he saw the wind. He saw the wind and he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. It is when the wind and the elements became greater than his focus on Jesus. That's when he began to sink and fall deeper. That's when the impossible that was possible, the focus on the Lord becomes impossible once more. He cannot walk any further and he cries out, Lord, save me. He acknowledges that in his own strength, he cannot forget about the wind that is surrounding him. He cannot just completely focus on Jesus again. He needs help. He needs saving. And Jesus, instead of being angry at Peter because Peter has just disobeyed him, he's been told not to be afraid and Peter is afraid. No, Jesus immediately reaches out his hand and catches him. This is the grace of our saviour. He immediately comes to our aid when we cry out to him. When we say, Lord, I can't take another step, save me. Instead of Jesus pointing out all our weaknesses and saying, yeah, well, you thought you were strong. You thought you could walk to me, but you can't. No, we don't get that from him. He reaches out to us immediately and takes us by the hand. And Jesus says, you of little faith, why did you doubt? He acknowledges that Peter did have faith. He had faith to get out of the boat, unlike the other disciples. But it was still little faith. And considering that in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus calms a storm with just words. It seems like Peter hasn't learned a lot. Jesus is in control of everything. He's proven time and time again that he is in control of the elements, the wind, he's in control of it. And yet Peter is hearing and seeing this scene and is still overwhelmed. What has he learned? Jesus said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Following Jesus is not easy, guys. It requires that leap of faith to step out of our comfort zone, even though the circumstances aren't calm. But we are walking towards Jesus. And when our focus is on him, everything else falls by the wayside. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. Where have you been struggling? Where have you lost your way? You were so confident. You stepped out of that boat into the arms of Jesus. But now, now you're sinking and you need to cry out, God, save me. Perhaps you've been hesitant because this is now the thousandth time you've prayed that prayer. God save me. But he still responds to you in the way he responded to Peter, where he reaches out his hand immediately and catches you. What a God of grace we have. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are patient with us. 
Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you want what is best for our lives. You want us to trust you to step out of our boats of comfort and onto the waves. And you promise to help us and get us through that. God, you are not distant and angry, but you are a saviour who reaches out and catches us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, I hope you guys have a good Easter and thanks for listening. Bye.